This is the unboxing and installation of a Volo performance chip. This Volo performance chip, uh, the one I specifically got, is for a 2002 Nissan Xterra. And uh, this video series will include unboxing, inspection, uh, inst and installation of the chip. Uh, supposedly these chips take up to 120 mile, or correction, the vehicle that it's installed in can take up to 120 miles for the ECU to relearn uh, the parameters, etc., etc. Um, I can vouch for that statement. Um, I do know my Xterra, if I disconnect the battery for any length of time, uh, it will take uh, about 100 miles on my Xterra of mixed uh, both city and highway driving before the ECU is relearned and I'm able to. Um, get something as simple as an emissions test done. Uh, the last time when I replaced the battery I actually had to go three times uh, to get the emissions test done because it kept uh, saying not ready which was part of the uh, needing to needing to be uh, relearn driving habits, engine running, etc. So Close up here. Volo performance. Oh, and uh, that's my little my little Vinny playing over there. Let's see if we can get a uh, focus a little better. Here we go. Volo OBD Dynamic Soft Flash Fuel Saver. The one I got is for fuel savings. I don't need any more power. My Xterra's got plenty of power, pulling 5,000 pound trailers. What I need is fuel savings. Even one or two miles per gallon will save me hundreds a year for how much driving I do. Man, little guy there has got his little truck too. His gets better mileage than mine though. So we have copyright 2013. Uh, by installing this device, you agree that you have read and understand the return policy in terms and conditions listed included in the instruction booklet. That's it on the outside of the box. Obviously I'm holding the camera as a said little midget over here hid my tripod when I went to the restroom the other day. It's probably in his toy box somewhere, but I think we can make do for video number one here. Ba, 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 ba. There we go. <clears throat> Installation instructions. Let's see what we got here. Got a light going in. That's a little better. Power link. Uh, I'm not sure what ACT is. ECU, emissions control unit. Standby. Model FS3. Oh, seems like they actually do make these vehicles specific. It says O2 Xterra. How about that? Bunch of LEDs. It's a capacitor right there. They don't make the box too clear, but uh, right there's a voltage regulator. Probably uh, regulates uh, the 12 volt from the vehicle down to five. Yep. That's about all I can show you right now. Eventually, I'll, I'll take the cover off and show you guys, but got some uh, four wires coming out the side there. Got a uh, zip tie. A few wire vampire taps. I hate those, as they always end up damaging your wiring. So I might just forgo these and 
put some sort of terminal block of some sort. A little piece of uh, nice little tape, probably so you can stick that up somewhere. For those wondering the installation procedures, I'll just uh, do a quick little bit here so you guys can pause and read on how to install if you so desire. I'm going to hit my size limit for this video. As YouTube has so thoughtfully limited my account due to background music I had in a video. Background music was part of a radio playing from a neighboring business. But eh, I guess that didn't matter to them. And there you have it. Uh, next video will be installation.